So today what I'm doing is an MLB The Show 22 wish list. And I know we have no news on MLB The Show 22 at all. I don't really expect much until closer to like the normal release date that we have. Late March, early April, that kind of stuff. But like, you know, if you think about how MLB The Show 21 was handled, they kind of did the same where they waited closer to release date to actually give us more and more news. With that being said, I do want to make this wish list because I play franchise every day. I make content on it and I know it's one of those communities that's been dying for new additions, the game mode to be fixed, the game mode to be just a lot better than what it has been in the previous years. And it feels like it's been kind of put on the back burner compared to some of the other modes. And don't get me wrong, I would love for the other modes to have the issues that they currently have fixed as well. I know Diamond Dynasty has a lot of server issues, the freeze offs and all that good stuff. I love Diamond Dynasty. I used to play it every single day. I just stopped playing because of the server issues and the freeze offs and all the things that were happening. So with that being said, I would love to see those issues addressed as well. But for me, I'm a franchise guy. So that's why I'm bringing this video to you all. So if you guys have social media and you want to spread the word, it'd be awesome if you shared this video to Twitter, Facebook, whatever it is. If you guys want to drop a comment, I would love that as well. I'd love to see your thoughts on franchise. And of course, if you're new here and enjoy franchise content, hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you stick around. So let's get into it. Let me talk about some of these things. So rather than me just saying these are the issues and I would love to see this, I'm going to talk about other game modes that I know have or other games i should say that have these certain features and i would love to see them implemented in mlb the show as well because it's all super easy to just to be like hey this is what's wrong with the game but i'd like to kind of bring my sort of solution to the problem as well so let's start about the one issue that like the big issue that i have with franchise currently and that's like the player progression regression player development that whole system whatever you want to call it it needs to be fixed and I know there's been so many issues with it. You, you look at Acuna or Vlad Jr. where as soon as they hit their potential, it doesn't matter what age they are, they start to regress immediately. And it sucks because there's no reason why a 28, 29 year old should start to be regressing when they're considered one of the best young, best, the best young baseball players in the game. Like you're telling me Acuna who's coming off a 300 season with 30 home runs and 120 RBIs and a 400 on base percentage it's just gonna start to regress. It doesn't make any sense. And it kind of seems like as soon as they hit a certain amount of service time or once they hit their max potential, that's kind of it for them. They start to, they, they kind of hit like a certain plateau and then they just tank. And that doesn't make any sense at all. And so my kind of solution for this is what I've noticed FIFA does. And I may they may not do it to the best of the, like to the best extent, but I think a dynamic potential system would be the best thing for MLB The Show. And a dynamic potential system is if a player does well, their potential goes up, but also their rating goes up as well. And on the opposite side, if a player does poorly, obviously their potential and their rating would go down as well. So I'm not saying that, you know, maybe a 40 year old would continue to go up and up and up, but at least they would be able to hold their rating. Obviously at a certain age, you would need a, a point where they need to regress, but I'm not saying that they need to just absolutely tank in overall as well. So ha finding that happy medium in, of an area where a player regresses at a certain age or a certain amount of service time is something that needs to be done. But I think dynamic potential where a player does well their overall goes up and also their potential as well and if a player does poorly their potential and overall also goes down but at the same time if you do have a young player who starts off with 99 potential and does poorly over the next few years rather than their potential and overall going down what it could do is just their potential goes down so they could still develop but rather than having that 99 potential where they're considered one of the better prospects in baseball well maybe now they're considered like 85 potential but they can still develop over time that way you still have that chance to develop but they may not just be as good in the future than what they were originally thought to be but at the same time once they hit that potential they still have a chance to go up if they perform well so that's why it's dynamic that's why it's always changing and there's a way that you know players can progress or regress without it just being like, once they hit their potential, that's it. And the reason I say that is just like, I feel like there's no rhyme or reason the way MLB's potential system really works besides the fact that there's just like a certain service time or once they hit their potential, that's it for them. So I think that would be cool to see. I think also having like a training that actually works or a development system that actually works where kind of like 2K where they have training camps at the end of the year, you can send a player to a training camp and they develop in that certain area that you sent them to that camp or in FIFA, they also have development plans where you can change a player's position or you can change or you can develop a certain area of a player's game to make them better over time. 
And I think training does need to have some sort of impact in MLB The Show because I don't really think it does right now. And I don't want the, the development plans to be overpowered where you could just stick a player on a development plan and it makes them the best player in the world. But I think it should have some effect. You know, some players have terrible hitting stats or some players have terrible speed or fielding and you put them in one of these development plans and over the next you know seven to ten weeks they will develop in that that plan that you put them in that way you can have a player who starts to you know add some strength to them and they can start hitting more home runs or you know they're really bad at fielding so you send them to a fielding camp and they become a better fielder because sometimes you'll have a left or right fielder with like 20 fielding and you can't use them or you have a guy that has like 20 power or 20 contact and they're not good or vision and discipline or for pitchers maybe they learn a new pitch or maybe they learn better per nines that kind of stuff over time and i think the ability to actually change positions through a development plan where rather than just being able to edit the player and just change it like that which i think takes away from the immersion completely i would rather them have it where if you want a right fielder to move to second base what you could do is send him into a development plan where he learns a new position so once he learns that new position he has second base and then right field is now his secondary so he could play both positions but if he plays right field now after that development plan is finished that right field is kind of a secondary where he would lose a couple attributes because that's a new secondary and if you think about Diamond Dynasty, they actually do have that, where if you play in a secondary position, they do take a little bit of a hit on their fielding attributes, reactions, all that stuff. At MLB The Show, I don't know if it does that in franchise. It shows it in Diamond Dynasty, but it doesn't show it in franchise. So I don't know if it really matters if a player plays in a secondary position in franchise. So it'd be cool to know, and it'd be cool to have that info, but who knows. I think the second thing I want to talk about is the, the CPU logic and the trade logic. And I think the trade logic is kind of a slippery slope because I know we do really go after SDS after they said they ran multiple sims over a certain amount of years and they liked the way it played out. And I know a lot of us do use custom rosters. And I feel like once we start using those custom rosters, we stray away from what MLB The Show was using. And it was a completely different roster, different potentials, different ratings. So it's tough to compare apples and oranges, right? The issue that we have is that when, you know, we're seeing these crazy trades happening and there really isn't, it, it kind of seems like the system for the trade logic doesn't understand potential or ratings or anything like that. Or it's just so heavily based on contracts or a certain stat that we don't know about. And because of that, that's why the, lo the logic's all over the place. Because I completely understand where if we use a different roster, the outcomes are gonna be different from what they did. But it just kind of seems like the logic really isn't there to begin with. And I think that's kind of why we have the issues with the trade logic because it just doesn't make a lot of sense. And so I feel like the trade logic does need to be improved. And I think they need to realize that because we use different rosters, there has to be some sort of base that that logic is using. What is it using? Is it using the ratings? Is it using the potential? Is it using contracts? What is it using so that we also know as a community what we can base the logic off? Because we've all seen the crazy trades. We've all seen the terrible trades, how easy it is to trade for superstars or top prospects and all that stuff. So the logic, it just doesn't really make a lot of sense and that needs to be improved. But another logic that I'm talking about is just the way that teams manage or the CPU manages the teams, the free agent signings, the trades, the lineups, all that stuff. It just doesn't seem like there really is any logic behind it. You know, why is the team signing seven different shortstops or seven different first basemen? Or why are they going after a top player when they were the worst team in the league? Like not every day are you gonna see a Texas Rangers team where they're spending $500 million on two players, right? A lot of the time, the Pirates are going after some cheaper players or the Tigers are, going after some cheaper platoon guys until they feel like they're ready to compete, you know, kind of things like that. And then you do have the Dodgers who are spending big, or you do have the Yankees who are spending big. It just doesn't seem like teams have identities. It just kind of seems like, let's just throw money or let's just throw money at the wall and see if it sticks. Like it's just kind of that kind of thing. And it, it just kind of takes away from the whole aspect of franchise. And it really just ruins it because there really doesn't seem to be a trade logic or any CPU slash AI logic behind the way they build their teams. So since we talked about trades, let's talk about it on our side of the things. I would like to see trades be a little bit more in depth. Maybe we can make players untouchable. You know, obviously we have the trade block. We have the players that we could, or the positions that we could target and things, but I would like to make it so teams don't like, send out trades for players like like we can have a set of untouchable players that we're not 
willing to trade for anything. I would also like the CPU to offer us trades for players that we don't have on the trade block more often. I feel like a lot of the trades that we do get are mostly players on the trade block. Every once in a while you have a trade sprinkled in there, but like I just feel like the majority of trades that you get are players that you put on the block. But I would like to see the CPU go out and just offer trades, but I would like to have those like untouchables as well. You know, there's there's a lot of different things and I'm trying I'm already forgetting some of the things. Obviously the trade logic, I would like to be able to trade more than three players. I feel like there's a lot of times when you have like just the smallest amount where if you could throw in an extra prospect, you would get that trade done. Or I, uh, the coding's probably gonna be weird on this one and I think it would be very difficult to implement, but a player to be named later or cash considerations. I completely understand how that could be a little bit diff difficult to implement into a mode. So if those kind of things weren't added, I completely understand it. But I just think having more than three players being just one thing that could be added to trades to make it so much better would be awesome. We all know the logic's flawed, but I think more than three players would be cool or just, excuse me, just kind of like that untouchables and just a little bit more randomness with trades in terms of the CPU offering trades would be kind of cool. And this kind of, this next one, I'm gonna call it like the GM goals or just like your GM status as a whole. Because if you look at MLB The Show, the way it is now, you're given three years. It doesn't matter how you perform. It doesn't matter if you meet the goals that you're set. You are given three years as the GM in franchise. You could win zero games over three years and you will keep your job for those three years. There has to be a setting where you get fired if you don't meet those goals or you don't meet that criteria. Or say you wanna leave after a year, you should have that opportunity as well. Like, I feel like at any time you should be able to leave if you want to, and there should be like a jobs category that you can see what teams are hiring new coaches or GMs or whatever, and you could go out and try to apply for that job. Or if you wanna leave at the end of the year, you should have that opportunity to look in that job section and go to that new job. Or if you do poorly, they could fire you at any point. And then you could be without a job for a certain amount of time as the season goes on. And then maybe some jobs start to open up and you can apply for those jobs that do open up. I just feel like it's so, so, so standard. Three years, you either keep your job or you don't. And if you're good, you keep your job. So say you run the league for three years and you just want a new challenge. Nope, you're stuck with the team that you're on. And it's like, come on, let me have some variety. Let me have the opportunity to explore the different options that I have. Just give me different opportunities with contracts, different situations with contracts, different scenarios with contracts where you could leave after a year, after two years, after three years, or you could get fired because you're not doing well enough. Just, just something where it gives you that challenge in franchise. Also, I would like to see kind of like team identities where they give you different challenges or GM goals based on what their team is like. And again, you'll probably see some screenshots for FIFA where there's different GM goals based on the identity that they have, where you could focus on developing prospects, or you could spend a bunch of money and you have to win immediately, or you know, you're a small team, so you're not given a lot of budget, so you have to work within a certain budget and build a team that way. Different, different goals, different team identities, different rules and regulations to build this team around. That way it just gives you a new challenge every team that you kind of join or every team that you start a franchise with because there could be those big spenders. There could be those cheapskates. There could be a team that wants to focus on prospects. There could be a team that, you know, just different goals and identities and things like that that just give you a new immersion factor, a new challenge. And it's just not the same thing every time you hop into a franchise because really the only way that you can make it better for yourself is if you set those challenges and make up your own challenges in your head rather than just being given to them them given to you by the game so like i said i think with franchise it's just lacking immersion and i think giving something like a gm goal that's better than just reach the postseason in your contract reach the world series win the division no like this is your budget stay within this budget uh cut the budget you know cut your payroll down to this or draft a certain amount of prospects maybe you have to draft one outfielder one infielder one uh, starting pitcher and one catcher all within a certain amount of time or sign a certain player in this position or sell amount, you know, just a bunch of different goals that you could do to make it more of a challenge. And I think that would be awesome because it would add 
more challenges to the game mode, but also more of an immersion factor because you actually have to do more rather than just, oh, I gotta win. So GM goals is another thing I would like to see in franchise. I think that'd be pretty cool. I know free agency, scouting and drafting is another thing that could be a little bit more in depth. I know the sixth round of the draft could be a little bit more, but I think once you start adding, you know, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15 rounds, I think it would be a little bit monotonous, a little bit drawn out. I think it would just become like really, I think it would become boring after a while with the draft every single year. It'd be cool to have like international free agents or international prospects to add to that kind of scouting and free agency and all that stuff. And I think free agency could be tweaked a little bit, but you know, I think, I think I'll, I'll leave that for maybe another video down the line. I know there's a lot of things that you guys would like to see in scouting free agency. Um, but I think unless you get like way too deep into it and way too integrated and all that stuff with different contract options and draft and all that stuff, I, I think it might, I think it might just become a little bit too detailed if we get too deep into it. So like, I, I think it's okay how it is right now. I definitely think it could be tweaked and made better, but I'll leave, I'll leave that to you guys. Let me know what you guys think. But the last category I really want to talk about is kind of like a miscellaneous thing. And I have a couple, a couple kind of drawn out that I have like. I would like to see like a, a league news section, maybe a social media section, or like this player is doing really well, or this player is doing poorly, or, you know, this player broke a record. Just kind of like, I know Madden does it. I know FIFA has like the news section that talks about the, the changes in teams, the players transferring teams and people who have done like a team of the week and all that stuff or player of the month, yada, yada, yada. I think that would be really cool to have in FIFA as well, or in FIFA and MLB the show. Sorry, I was talking about FIFA, so it was stuck in my head. But like a, a new section, just to kind of keep up to date with everything that's going on in the league. Who became the number one prospect? Who got called up? Who had a crazy day? Who made the all-star team? Who is your player of the month? Who maybe broke a record or things like that that would be awesome to see i think an accolade section just to keep track of all the things that have happened throughout your franchise save a player accolade section that keeps up to date with all the awards that they've won just to be able to go back in time rather than just the three years that they give you in the award section i think expansion teams would be really cool i'm not too sure how that would be implemented and i will be the show i think that would be awesome to see though not just create a team and replace a squad but an actual expansion where we get new teams, expand the league, 32 teams, 34 teams, whatever it is, it'd be awesome to see. And then of course, like the whole customization of that, you could talk about an owner mode, building up stadiums, you know, having more jersey options, things like that. Like the whole customization of jerseys and teams would be expanded, that'd be awesome to see. But again, can't, can't go too crazy, can't want too many things. But I think the last thing I wanna to talk to you about is player morale. And I know they took it out for it affecting attributes. Uh, I think it was this year that they took it out and they left it for contract negotiations. But I really think player morale should be in the game. It should affect the way a player performs. It should affect the way a player wants to go about contract negotiations. But also, what if a player feels like his, his, his wants aren't being met? He requests a trade. He starts becoming a, a locker room problem. What if he feels that the team isn't meeting the ambitions that was set out in the club contract? You know, the GM goals say, okay, we're not doing well enough. Players aren't performing well enough. We're not signing the right players. We're trading away key players. What if they start to come to you and say, hey coach, like what's going on? Hey coach, I feel like I should be called up. I feel, hey coach, I feel like we're not meeting these ambitions. I feel like player morale and player interaction should be integrated into the mode. Not only does it add integration, but it's also a thing that happens in real life. You know, players get upset. Players also get happy and be like, hey coach, I'm glad that you made this trade or I'm glad that you're playing me a lot. I'm really happy. And if they're happy, maybe they get a little bit of a boost. I'm not saying they need to get like a plus 10, but maybe a plus one or plus two. Or if they're not doing well and they're upset, maybe a minus one, minus two. Or if they feel like they're not happy at the team anymore, they request a trade. And you can talk to them and be like, hey, Give me a second chance we'll work this out or okay whatever you can leave we'll sort out a trade for you player morale should be in the game it should be added in franchise back or added back to franchise and it should become a part of the mode so there's a lot of different things trust me i could go in depth on a bunch of other things that were missed out on and i would love to hear your thoughts what you think what could be changed what you want to see changed what did i miss let me know your thoughts in the comment section of course spread the word i'd love to hear it that's really about it. I tried to keep this around 20 minutes because like I said, I could make this a Harry Potter length video if you wanted it to, but I'm, I'm gonna keep it short for you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. 
share it on social media if you want to spread the word i'll catch you guys in the next one